Alex Bowers only has two amateur fights to his credit. For him, though, they were both victories, so that's a good start. He won by a second round TKO in his last fight. In his first, it was a rear naked choke that got him the decision. So he's 2-0. Bowers ranked number 123 in the Midwest by Tapology, number nine in the state of Wisconsin at 170 pounds, fighting out of Rufus Sport. Alex Bowers on the tail of the tape. You check him out here from Carbon World Health as Bowers an inch is what he is surrendering to Dante Skiro. We'll see if he surrenders anything else in this fight tonight. Bowers a challenger, Skiro the champ. Let's take a look at Dante entering the cage right now. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, Dante Skiro. One of my favorite Pisons, man. Dante Skiro heading to the cage right now. He has won five straight and is the title holder in the amateur division at 170 pounds for chosen few. I want to talk about rankings. He's ranked number 12 in the Midwest, number one in the state of Wisconsin, and he has been on some kind of role, having won his five in a row. There's the tail of the tape once again. Let's head up to the cage and get the introductions from Chris Garrity. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is brought to you by Sucks.com and features three championship rounds in our championship welterweight division. Introducing first, this man fighting out of the Coliseum Bar Red Corner. He represents Rufus Sport and hails from Noblesville, Indiana. He is undefeated, two bouts, two victories. He weighed in 169 pounds, ladies and gentlemen, the challenger, Alex Wildcard Bowers. His opponent is this man, fighting out of the Harley Davidson of Madison, Blue Corner. He represents the Chosen Few Gym and hails from right here in Madison, Wisconsin. An impressive amateur record, five victories, only one defeat. He also weighed in at 169 ready pounds. He is your reigning, your defending, your undisputed amateur welterweight champion. Dante Skiro! A lot of hometown support for Dante Skiro. Why not? He comes right out of nearby Madison La Follette in one of the better wrestling backgrounds that you are going to find in this division. He, his brothers, everybody, they all wrestle at La Follette and have done very well for themselves. The thing about Skiro, we saw him a lot in 2017. He fought five times, very active, won all five fights. This is the first time that we are seeing him in 2018. So he's been off for about seven months, a little bit of inactivity for a guy who had been very active. Right, and sometimes that can be a positive thing, give a young fighter time to really hone some skills and learn some new things. Here we see him defending that takedown. He's got a good little chin strap going on. Bauer's doing a good job with that lift, but Skiro maintaining control with that chin and getting right back up to his feet. Good action here so far. Not the traditional stand up, bang it out that some fans like to see, but a really good grappling battle going on right now early in this round to find out who's gonna have supremacy when they lock up. 
Skiro has been one of those guys who has rapidly improved. We saw him and Alex Gilpin really take huge strides forward in 2017 out of the chosen feud, Jim. The other thing about Skiro, it kind of belies his wrestling background. Not a lot of submissions. Four out of his last five wins have come by TKO. So he has really worked on his striking and to a lot of success as he won the amateur title his last time out. A first round TKO over Ben Ross. That was back in October in Chosen Fighting, uh, Chosen Few Fighting Oh, right here. He's got 12. a deep guillotine in on Bowers. That is really tight under the chin right there. Bowers not moving. This could be it. That Never is it. Wow, Bowers in trouble. Ducked his head down. Skiro with the guillotine. I tell you what, very few fighters have progressed as rapidly as has Dante Skiro over his last six fights. He has been amazing and continues to shine as he defends his 170 pound title with a guillotine on Alex Bowers, who is still down on the mat. Nestor Rodriguez taking a look at him. A big win and the first defense of the title for Dante Skiro. We'll come back with the official word from Chris Garrity right after this on 57 Sports. Up to the cage we go after an impressive win by Dante right, Skiro. Chris Garrity's got the word. Comes in one minute. 38 seconds of round number one for your winner by guillotine choke and still welterweight champion Dante Skiro. Skiro has been on Champ, fire six here, wins in a row. Let's Take hear from the champ. There. His game plan was pretty obvious from the outset, looking to press you up against the cage and take you down, but he left his neck out there one too many times. Did you know that was his game plan coming in? Uh, yeah, I looked him up a little bit, knew he was a wrestler, but I'm a wrestler too, and this ain't a wrestling match. It's mixed martial arts. Leave your neck out there trying to take people down and snatch it up. Well, it looks like you stayed pretty calm against the cage. You obviously can attribute that to guys like Damian Decora, Kane Rizzo in your corner there. Uh, guys that really know the guillotine choke and can help you with that. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you set it in once you turn that shoulder. Yeah, I, I mean, his neck was real deep, and uh, Alex Gibbon was calling for the little ninja choke that we like to use. But I got, I got a nice guillotine. Shout out to Kane Rizzo for that, because he's the master of guillotines. I locked it in there, got my elbow up real high, cinched it in, and he wasn't going to his back, so I took advantage of it. Well, congratulations, you're now six and one and still the champion. Folks, let's give him one more round of applause, your champion, Dante Skiro. Second time Alex Gilpin has gotten a shout out for helping a chosen few fighting champion right, win a fight. And Skiro walks like off victorious with the, the strap and one this one title fight here at Chosen Few Fighting Championships, number 14 on 57 Sports. Thank you.